I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. Police have a man in custody in connection with two rapes in our area. Brandon Saunders is now accused of attacking and raping a woman in the parking lot of Lock Raven High School in Baltimore County a year ago. They say he offered to give her a ride home, but instead took her to that secluded parking lot at the school and raped her. Saunders is also charged in a rape case in Baltimore City that happened in October of last year. Police arrested him at his home yesterday, and they say there may be more victims. They're asking anyone with information about this case to come forward. Starting today, there's new requirements going in place in Maryland to try and cut down on a recent increase in the number of coronavirus cases. So as of five o'clock this evening, anyone older than the age of five must wear a mask in all public buildings across the state of Maryland. So gyms, stores, restaurants, office buildings. You must also wear a mask outside if social distancing is not possible. The new mandate on masks is different than the one that Governor Hogan issued back in April. At that time, it only required people to wear masks in grocery stores and other food food, service, businesses, and public transit. This new mandate also lowers that age from people who are required to wear a mask from nine down to five years old. And in Baltimore City, health officials are urging people who live or work in the city to wear a face mask more often. The number of COVID-19 cases in Baltimore City is rising more quickly than other parts of the state. If you're not wearing a mask in the city, you could be fined up to $5,000, but city officials say they don't want to have to enforce that. They just want to strongly encourage everyone to wear facial coverings more often in more situations. You're watching WMAR 2 News with Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. So this morning we do have some showers out there, but we also are tracking the showers as we go into the afternoon with some thunderstorms possible. We will have some dry time throughout the day, so don't think that it's just going to be raining constantly. Uh, we are tracking below average temperatures and seasonal temperatures, and then that rain is going to linger right in through the weekend into next week. So lots going on over today and the next several days. The muggy meter is up today. It's going to stay that way over the next several days as well, not going down anytime soon. It's very sticky out there. And speaking of sticky, the tropics, oh yes, very sticky out there as well as we are still tracking now Hurricane Esaias. So we are going to definitely uh, continue to watch this as this will continue to move on up towards uh, Florida and beyond that. So we do have the steering currents, that area of high pressure, that will continue to steer it to the north and west. But meanwhile, back off towards the west, we had that upper level trough and that's going to pick up the storm and move it more to the north and east. So we could be impacted this storm, whether directly or indirect, indirectly the days to come. So we definitely going to continue to watch that. Here's the future cast as we will watch for some thunderstorms to develop as we go into the afternoon and further to the south on the eastern shore around portions of Talbot County in that marginal risk, but mainly down into Dorchester County. The biggest threat will be damaging winds if that does occur. We have a, a boundary that's going to be in that area and that's the focal point for the thunderstorms to fire and maybe turn severe as we go into the the afternoon. But out the door for today, grab the rain gear because it will be sticking around for much of the day. With the clouds, with the rain, temperatures are going to stay well below the average of about 87 degrees for today, right around 82. And then Christian on Saturday, temperatures will be more on the seasonal side. Okay, Lynette, thanks very much. And stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. For news weather on the go, you can always download the WMAR2 News app. It's in the App Store. It's got live radar, which you might want today. And you can set up breaking news alerts to come straight to your phone or tablet. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.